everybody, this is me and today I have a tack haul for you guys because I know how much you absolutely love watching my tack hauls. I personally love watching them as well. I love seeing new sort of equestrian products that I haven't heard of before. And I was at Burley the other day and they have so many deals because it's such a big show. So there were like so many things that were on like half price, like ridiculous prices that were so much cheaper. So that is brilliant. There were also some new like equestrian products that I haven't even heard of before that I bought. So I'd love to show you guys. So let's get into the video. So the first thing I actually got for free when I went into Media Center, which was so nice of them, and this is the program. It's actually really cool. It has like little pictures of all the fences that says lots of stuff about them, how the course was designed. So this is really interesting. So that was really cool. The next thing was my hat that I've already talked about in the vlog, but I just thought it was really cute. It would be nice for a little memento as well as protecting my scalp from the sun. <laughs> So the next thing I bought is this and it's called the Amaze Brush and I haven't really heard of these that much before. I've seen them at like shows and things but I've never seen them at tack shops for sale. But anyway this brush it uses like friction to get rid of all of your horse hair from like saddle pads, blankets, everything really. Horse hair gets everywhere. So I'm going to try this out and tell you guys what I think about it. Apparently it can also get off all the little bobbles that you can sometimes find on clothes when it's been washed quite a few times Which having horse clothes they get washed a lot especially in the mud season when there's mud everywhere in the UK Like it just rains all the time in the winter. So hopefully this will be very useful I'll give it a try and tell you what I think later Here I have some stud muffins and these are actually one of Casper's favorite treats I decided to buy the massive pack because they don't usually sell these at my local tack shops the reason why I got the 45 one as well is because it's better value for money. And yeah, I think Casper and Mickey will definitely enjoy these. <laughs> so here I have a new hat silk that I bought. It's actually really cool. You can pick what color silk you want and what color pom-pom. So they sort of like half so um, they put a little pin on so you can see what it looks like. I decided to get the steel gray as I already have one like this in a lighter gray, which so many of you guys have complimented on. I really, really like these, they're so cool. Um, very different, but then I, I went for the sort of plainer colors, just so it's different, but that it's also kind of classy, but. <laughs> So a lot of you guys actually asked me where my last hat silk was and it's from the same company, this one as well, it's from Foxy Equestrian. They were so nice, um, you get to choose your colours, sew it on, all that fun stuff. But yeah, I just thought it was really nice, especially being a darker colour, it'll be more practical for the winter coming, because again, mud. <laughs> but um, I just thought it was really pretty, really cool and I can't wait to use it. Then I went to the Noble Outfitter stand and I absolutely love their base layers. I already have one in purple and one in like a mint green colour and these are honestly the best base layers I've ever had really. Because, just because they're so comfy, it's like wearing a second skin. I know some base layers can feel really restrictive when you're wearing them and that's the last thing you want when you're riding. Also they have this really cool mesh under the arm so if you get sweaty like me when you're riding and you're working hard then um, this will help you cool off but also with the winter coming up it's nice to have something long sleeve and I thought I'd just go for the nice charcoal grey especially practicality it's very good I can wear it for show jumping clinics because it's sort of like a neutral colour so that is great and also it matches the hat silk like you know, matchy matchy. You guys aren't even surprised, are you? <laughs> but yeah. <laughs> so something that I always do when I go shopping at like a big event like this is I look around all the shops, not until I've looked at every single shop will I buy something. Because you'll find at some shops, they will sell the exact same product, but for more money. So this belt, I've seen so many belts, like even the exact same belt, some belts were from different companies, but they were being sold for like 50 pounds for a belt, but this one was only 20 and oh my goodness, I absolutely love the rainbow on it because I, I, I've i always seen these belts and sort of wanted one, but um, I was, could never decide what colour to get because some usually they're two different colours, so you see like red and navy and things like that, but I thought the rainbow one was so cool, it will go with literally any outfit because it's every colour. And yeah, I just thought it was really cute and hopefully it will keep my jumpers up because one thing I find with jumpers is they're never small enough around the waist so I always have to wear a belt with them. So this will come in handy. <laughs> And then talking about breeches and jodhpurs, I actually bought a new pair of breeches. And beige breeches, I always find, just because like they're used for competitions and stuff, they're sold for a lot more money. But also, these were Ariat ones. I have never had Ariat breeches before, 
just because they are so expensive, the retail price for these, you probably would have seen in the vlog, were over a hundred pounds. And I think these were only like 50, so it's like half price. And um, these are so nice. They're full seat as well, and full seat also are usually more expensive. They have everything you want. They have the sock bottom, which is nice and stretchy, rather than the Velcro that just digs into you. It's really uncomfortable. And also, because it's full seat, it goes all the way down, so it's nice and grippy, and it won't wear out where the knees are. Um, they also have really nice belt loops, so they're nice and big, so you can fit chunky belts in. And yeah, they're just really, really nice. So I'm going to save these for show jumping clinics and competing and things just because they are so nice. And I'm actually running out of beige breeches because all of mine, I don't know if anybody else gets this, but I always find on the butt, like where your saddle's been, it goes like black or brown from where the like saddle colour goat rubs onto it. I don't know if that's just me. But um, yeah, so hopefully these will be very nice for wearing on special occasions. And then here I've got some new gloves, and I actually really like these gloves. These are the, I don't know how to pronounce the name, all horsey stuff. The name, like, you just, they're from different countries, I just don't know how to pronounce it. But it's the, I think it's Roquel. But um, these gloves are really nice. When do I not need a new pair of gloves? Because my gloves get holes in all the time. As I've said a million times before, I'm one of those people that have to wear gloves when they're riding because I ride so often, if not like my hands just peel apart. But again, I've gone, gone with the charcoal grey. I must have really been liking the charcoal grey that day. But um, I thought they'd be nice because they're not black, so they're a little bit of a different colour, but um, they're still grey, so going with the grey theme, but it's just slightly darker, so it's more practical. So these would be really nice wearing for, again, show jumping clinics, competing, stuff like that. So yeah. So next I got some stain remover and one of the biggest questions I'm asked all the time is what stain remover I use on Casper. Some people literally think I use like a stain remover for your clothes. I don't, don't, don't use that. There's actually special stain removers for horses. So this is one of them. I've never used it before. It's the Shoshin one. I've never actually seen these in my local tack shop before. So um, I thought I would try it out. I actually one day want to make a video of me trying like every single different stain remover because usually I just buy the stain remover that my local tack shop has in stock like I just use loads of different ones there isn't like a specific one I use so I thought I'd try the Shoshin one out um it's a stain remover and whitener so obviously with winter coming up again Casper's gonna get a lot more poo stains a lot dirtier with the mud and things so if I just need a little quick spray if I don't want to wash him because obviously it's getting colder I don't really want to give him like a full bath this should be very useful here is something else that I haven't really heard of before, but I thought these were so cool. And these are the Lumia stud plugs. So basically, instead of putting little bits of cotton wool and Vaseline in your stud holes, you can put these little plastic things, because I find like when you're studding up, it's quite stressful, especially if you're in a rush, if you're late, anything like that. So um, just using these, plug them in once you um, want to get away as soon as possible after you've been at an event or doing cross country. Um, so you can just use these, I guess, instead. So that'll be really cool. I'm gonna try them. I don't know if anybody else finds this, but I find when I'm plugging up my stud holes, I can never get the right size ball of cotton wool to put in. Sometimes it's too big and you have to like really squeeze it in, or sometimes it's too small and like mud gets in there and it's really difficult to clean out. So hopefully these will make my life a lot easier when putting studs in because hopefully the holes will be nice and clean. <laughs> You would have already seen this in my Burley vlog, but Pony Magazine very kindly gave me this t-shirt. I got to choose what colour I wanted and everything, which is really cool. And I actually saw that Jedi, one of the um, people from Team Pony, when they came over to do the photo shoot, she was wearing a top the exact same colour. And I just thought it was so pretty because you can't really find many lime green, sort of apple -y green polo tops. And I thought this was really nice because it's not too bright but it's like a nice green as well. And it's so cute and it just says Pony Magazine on the back. So I wore this for my meetup, so um, that was really cool. So thank you very much Pony for sending me the top. And of course, in this is me fashion, we got the matchy matchy. <laughs> I did look at lots of different saddle pads that were the same sort of color green, but I thought this one actually matched the best. And this is of course the Lumia Lime Green. I don't really need to say much about these saddle pads because I've used them so much before but I am very excited to use this on Casper also with the winter coming up I feel like I've said with the winter coming up so many times 
But um, with the winter coming up, I thought this would be so cool, especially as all the leaves are starting to die and the mud and the rain is coming in. This will be really nice to just brighten up my day. Nice bright green, <laughs> make me think of the summer times and the happiness of spring that will hopefully bring me through the winter. So I thought this will be really nice and bright to use on Casper. Also matches the top. Wait, let, let me grab the top also matches the top almost perfectly so yes i cannot wait to use this on casper i also wore green in my recent video and i've kind of forgot how good casper looks in green being gray he kind of looks good in all colors but um i think he's gonna look so cute in it but yeah so at burley i did a meetup and in no way at all like i was not expecting anything but you guys were literally so sweet and actually got me some presents. I literally could not believe it. So thank you so much. You really shouldn't have. Like, so I'm just gonna show you what they gave me. Cause I thought it was so cute. So thank you so much for the Lick It treats. I'm sure Mickey and Casper will absolutely love these. And then here somebody actually drew out what all the horses and donkeys eat, which I thought was so cute. And then they've got the rules of feeding from my rules of feeding video. So thank you so much. I absolutely love this. And then somebody else got me this cute little paper bag which says this is me on. And I think there's lots of stuff inside as I can see. And um, so here I have a lot of letters from you guys. I have a little digital art of me on Mickey which is incredible. Thank you so much. Um, I also have a little note from my bucking Welsh. I also have another letter from Rocket Rodney 16 and that, oh my goodness, I love the drawing, it's so good. I also have a letter from Amara and Charlotte and oh my goodness, I just want to read this bit out because it's so cute. It says, you have helped us improve with our riding and have inspired us to keep trying like you did with Casper. You guys are literally so sweet, thank you so much for the letter. And then I've got another letter here with another brilliant drawing of Casper and this is from Polly and me, one, two, three. And the last thing in here is actually a present. Really guys, you really did not have to get me anything. I feel like it's Christmas. <laughs> oh my goodness, that's so cute. It's a little photo frame with Mickey and Gasparin from the pony photo shoot. And then it says, this says me on here. Thank you so much guys. I'm gonna put this in my bedroom. Well, I'm in my bedroom. I'm gonna put it on my bedside table. <laughs> So I thought I would save this one till last because oh my goodness I haven't even opened it yet and it's so beautiful like the rainbow wrapping paper, the little pearl stickers, the diamantes, like everything. <laughs> I feel so bad because I can't give you a present back but thank you so much. <laughs> okay let's give it a little open. Okay guys time to open it up. This pink string everywhere, it's so cool. Okay, so this is from Natalia Witkowska, um, who's 12, and her Instagram is at my.riding.journey.xox. Thank you so much. <laughs> so let's have a little look inside. Let's remove the pink string. Oh, this is so cool. It's a little, um, like a horse rosette, but it says number one equestrian YouTuber is me. Thank you so much, this is so cute. It's a little horse and pony treat jar. I'm so gonna put this in my tack room or feed room. Thank you so much. And it's like laminated or got plastic stuff on so it won't go moldy. So that is great as well. There are some polos and they're sugar free ones. So they're all right for Mickey's teeth as well. So Mickey has bad teeth. So thank you so much. No way. She's like made a whole scrapbook. This is like how much, how long must this have taken you? So cute, thank you so much. I can't wait to read all of this. She's, I think she's done like every single page as well. It just goes on and on. <laughs> thank you so much. This is so cute, they're all my Instagram photos. It's like Instagram, but in like a book form. It's so cool. I absolutely love it so much. Oh, thank you so much, Natalia. She's also drawn some pictures of Casper, Mickey, Oh, Willow, she's upside down. Let's put her the right way around. Got Toby, Bruno, and me and Mickey. 
So thank you so much Natalia for your letter, it just talks a little bit about her, about she, how she rides at a local riding school and she's actually moving up a group and has started jumping so that's very exciting. And there's a little cute bit at the end that just says, you've really inspired me to carry on with my riding and keep going if things get tough. The bond you have with your animals is incredible. I wish you all the best and I hope you enjoy this little package from me. Love from Natalia. Thank you so much. Hi guys, so a lot of you have asked if I'll be doing any future meetups because I had such a great time meeting you guys and I know that some of you couldn't attend Burley and would still like to meet me. Next month on the 7th of October, which is a Sunday in Birmingham at the NEC, I will be at the Horse of the Year show. I'll leave a link in the description below if you haven't already bought tickets. This means that you'll be automatically entered into a competition to win four backstage passes to go behind the scenes and everything like that, which is very exciting. I will be in the live zone in the afternoon and I'd love to meet more of you guys because I had such a great time at Burley and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!